guide to GA600 2018 Fire Resistance and Sound Control Design Manual. The Fire Resistance and Sound Control Design Manual is among the best organized and easiest to use of the Fire Design Reference Manuals. Design information is quickly and easily determined. Users can compare various systems to meet design and code requirements. Builders, architects, code officials, fire service, and insurance personnel rely on GA600 for fire resistance and sound control information. GA600 is referenced by the International Building Code and the National Fire Codes, also known as NFPA 5000. Many state and local jurisdictions in the U.S. and Canada also rely on GA600 as a source document for fire resistance and sound control rated designs. Section 1. Use of this manual and general notes. The systems in GA600 utilize gypsum panel products to provide designs for fire resistant walls, partitions, floor ceilings, roof ceilings, columns, beams, girders, and even trusses. Systems are classified according to their typical uses and their fire resistance ratings. All fire resistance classifications described in GA600 are derived from full-scale fire tests conducted in accordance with the requirements of standard setting bodies in the U.S. and Canada. Tests are carried out on systems made up of specific materials put together in a precise manner. These tests are conducted by recognized independent laboratories in the United States and Canada. Systems are divided into seven major categories and are listed in the table of contents under these headings. 1. Wall and Partition Systems 2. Floor Ceiling Systems 3. Roof Ceiling Systems 4. Horizontal Membrane Systems 5. Column Protection Systems 6. Beam, Girder, and Truss Protection Systems and 7. Strain Relief Systems As seen in the Table of Contents and throughout the manual, non-combustible systems for walls and partitions Floor ceiling and roof ceilings are listed first, followed by those that rely on wood framing. Systems are further subdivided by fire resistance rating, beginning with one half hour and increasing to four hours. Walls, partitions, and floor ceiling systems are also classified by sound transmission class, abbreviated as STC. The impact insulation class is included for many floor ceiling systems. STCs are listed in descending order and range from 70 to 74 STCs to 40 to 44 STCs. In GA 600 2018, the STCs below 40 are excluded because these systems will not meet today's code criteria. As a result, there are systems in the manual that show a fire resistance rating only, as you can see here on page 86. A few STCs below 40 are retained in older systems for historical reference, as they may prove useful in renovation or restoration projects. Examples of these are on page 87. System descriptions and their major components will be discussed later in this presentation. There are many useful references and tables throughout this manual, including, but not limited to, descriptions of terms and symbols, located on pages 8 and 9, product identification, located on page 10, followed by sound testing agencies and abbreviations referenced on pages 11, 12, and 13. Interpreting a system listing. Each system, also known as an assembly, has been assigned a reference number, the GA file number. Remember to cite the complete GA file number in specifications and on plans or when making inquiries about systems. GA file numbers group like-rated assemblies together to facilitate comparison. Generic systems can be built using the products of any manufacturer provided the products meet the appropriate standards and requirements listed in sections one through three. Where the word proprietary appears in system descriptions, one or more of the system components is considered proprietary. Each proprietary system shall be built using the components specified by the company or companies listed under the detailed description for that system. Systems descriptions included in the GA600 manual are summaries. They begin with the material site exposed to the fire test and method of attachment. 
A description of framing members and methods of installation follows. Finally, the unexposed side and its method of attachment is described. The fire rating, sound rating, and detail of assembly are also provided along with the thickness and approximate weight of the assembly. Review the test report for complete information on the system or components. Request fire or sound tests for generic systems from the Gypsum Association. Proprietary test data is available from the manufacturer. Section 2. Requirements for Fire Protection and Notes on Assemblies. Beginning on page 15, this section has a wealth of information specifically focused on fire resistive properties of gypsum, type X gypsum board, performance of gypsum plaster, fire resistance tests, and general explanatory notes. GA 600 2018 contains terminology and explanatory notes specific to fire performance and acoustical performance of systems. These notes provide guidance on such subjects as clarification of permitted substitutions of fasteners, design limitations, and addition of materials. You may find a solution or alternatives to your situation by reviewing the General Explanatory Notes, Fire Performance of Systems, which is located in Section 2 of the Manual, and General Explanatory Notes, Acoustical Performance of Systems, which are located in the following section. Section 3, Sound Control. In addition to general explanatory notes, this section presents an overview on terminology related to acoustics, brief overview of sound, sound flanking and leakage. For example, detailed drawings of sound isolation construction are located in this section. Please note figure 11. Section 4, Fire Resistance and Sound Control Systems Index. This section contains the index to systems by STC rating which helps narrow down your selections and can save significant time. With the expansion of the GA600 and additional sound testing, new tables are included to assist users on pages 40 and 41. Approximately two dozen systems have new GA file numbers. New file numbers were created to maintain the book's organizational structure, which allows users to quickly identify systems that meet specific fire and sound requirements. Where a file number has been reassigned, a new table allows readers to easily identify an assembly's new file number. In addition to tables showing new and deleted systems, another table notes systems that were previously proprietary, but are now considered generic. Electronic Edition, the digital counterpart to the Fire Resistance and Sound Control Design Manual, originally introduced in conjunction with GA600 2015, has led to additional offerings. When customers purchase a manual from the Gypsum Association's online bookstore, they can elect to access either the GA600 Plus, a basic e-reader, or the GA600 Premium, an enhanced digital manual. The Premium Digital Manual will search system descriptions by keyword, by STC, or by fire resistance rating, and allows users to download a PDF of the entire system or just the corresponding graphic for inclusion and project specifications. Up-to-date acoustical data for generic systems is available in the Enhanced Electronic Edition of GA600 2018. This sound test data allows designers to make better informed decisions when selecting generic systems for specific sound control requirements, such as speech privacy. The future of GA600. The GA600 will continue to evolve as codes and construction practices change the Gypsum Association and its member companies are dedicated to providing updated information and solutions for the AEC community. Remember, the Gypsum Association is your technical center for Gypsum panel products. Never hesitate to email or call the Gypsum Association. You can email us at info at gypsum.org or give us a call at 301-277-8681.